Assalamualaikum. This is Miss Melan and you are in English class. Um, this is our material for last week. Uh, we did it around, not last week, but the other week. And you already sent your answer and I'm going to give you the explanation. So you may pay attention on the next slide. Let's do this one first. Easy! <laughs> okay. Pura Uluwatu is one of the famous tourist attractions on the island of Bali. It is a temple that is located on the edge of a step, steep cliff about 80 meters above sea level at the southern part of Bali. Pura Uluwatu is very famous and is, it is one of the six main temples existing in Bali. People come to Pura Uluwatu not only to see the remarkable temple, but also to enjoy the beautiful scenery and the sunset. Visitors are warned to keep an eye of their belongings since the monkeys there are quite aggressive. They may take the sunglasses and cameras you bring. People suggest visiting the temple during weekdays and before the sunset since it will be the best time to enjoy Pura Uluwatu. At that time, the place is not too crowded, so visitors can have more time to explore the temple. The visitors can also watch turtles and dolphins in the sea at this time. Let's see ya! How many main temples are there in, in Bali? There are six main temples in Bali. Ada di sini loh. Six main temples. What are the tourists do at Pura Uluwatu? At least to answer, what can the tourists do? Bisa apa turisnya di situ? The tourists can explore the temple, enjoy beautiful scenery and the sunset, watch turtle and dolphins in the sea, many others. Zini? Zini? Zini. Bisa dilihat ya. Why is it suggested to visit the temple during weekdays and before sunset? Ada kata suggest. Berarti kita cari aja suggest juga. Because the, the place is not too crowded during weekdays and before sunset. Ada di sini, suggest. Too crowded. Itu maksudnya ya. What can people see in the sea near the temple? Number 42, sama. People can see turtle and dolphins in the near sea. In the sea near the temple, sorry. And then the last one. Combine the sentence using if clause, conditional clause type 1. If you are not careful, the aggressive monkeys may grab your possessions. Okay, here comes the first one. You have an announcement. Let me read it for you. Top reader. Earn points as you read. You will earn one point for each book you read. The school will publish the top 10 readers on the notice board school website and library twitter every month the top reader students will receive a reader excellence certificate at the end of the year and the best reader will be awarded the library trophy at the school prize giving next june okay so the questions will be where can you probably find the text remember to answer with the questions, I can find the text in the library. Why? Read. Library. Library. It keeps repeated. Okay. The announcement is intended for the... The announcement is intended for the students, of course. Okay. What is the meaning of receive? Let's check. Find. Discover. Get. Achieve. Means menemukan. Give. Provide. Contribute. Bestow. Memberikan. Take, grab, remove, remove, steal, eh, itu mengambil. And then obtain means receive, accept, and collect, menerima. Konteksnya di sini adalah penghargaan. Maka jawabannya adalah obtain. Okay, now we have a short message service. Or it could be an email also. So this is to Donna. Ivan called up while you were taking a bath. He said his family was going to have a picnic tomorrow. 
they invite you to join them. If you want to, please let him know as soon as possible. Aunt Jaya. Number four, why does Aunt Jaya write the message? Very clear, to inform Donna about Ivan's phone call. Ada telepon dari Ivan sebatas itu aja sih, bukan bukan yang pertama minta Dona untuk pergi piknik sama dia. Hernya di sini kan on Jaya, sedangkan yang ngajak piknik adalah Ivan, harusnya him, istilahnya gitu. To give Dona some advice? No. To introduce Dona to Ivan? No. Oke, okay, number five. Oh, sorry, number four. Oh, you can find the reason here. I missed up the click. Oke. Okay. And then number five. What should Donna likely uh, do after reading the message? I miss a word in there. Of course, when you have a message, you have to message back. Uh, kalau dapat pesan, ya berarti harus jawab pesannya atau telepon lagi. Text or call Ivan. That's pretty easy, right? Okay, what do we have here? Now we have an invitations. Undangan ya, teman-teman. You're invited to a housewarming party. 17 September, 1234, Mockingbird Lane, Dallas, Texas. The Johnson's new residence. RSVP 555-555-1212. So, the question is, Mrs. And Mr. John Mr. and Mrs. Johnson are celebrating their... New house, new residence. Kalau di teks ada new residency, tapi kalau misalkan karena ada housewarming, itu maksudnya adalah rumahnya baru, rumahnya baru dipanasin. Warming kan pemanasan kan permulaan maksudnya gitu. Tapi di bawah ada kata yang lebih jelas yaitu new residence. Residence itu sama juga house, rumah. Okay, what is the recipient supposed to do after receiving the invitations? Kalau dapat undangannya, harus apa? Confirm their attendance. Konfirmasi kedatangannya. Confirm, karena ada kata or us, or as VP. Itu bahasa Perancis. Waktu itu kita pernah jelasin kan, itu maksudnya adalah uh, resepsionisnya. Uh, mau datang atau enggak, supaya bisa tahu harus menyediakan makanan berapa, bangkunya berapa, lebih seperti itu. Dan banyak di tes pertama banyak teman-teman yang um, salah melafalkan kata ini confirm confirm bukan confirm karena kebanyakan dari kalian ngomongnya confirm itu kan i nya duluan confirm confirm alright and then banyak juga yang tidak tahu apa itu attendance attendance Attendance, kehadiran, teman-teman. Attendance itu artinya kehadiran. Kalau purchase a gift, berarti beli hadiah. Prepare a blanket, menyiapkan selimut buat apa? And then visit the Johnsons right away. Uh, no ya, masa baru dapat undangan terus langsung pergi? Kan ada tanggalnya. Hmm, back to the logic. And now we have advertisement. Iklan. Um, camp Riverbend where the fun never ends. Summer day camp for boys and girls 3 to 14th in Warren Township, New Jersey. 908580 camp, 20 minutes from Jersey City. Daily bus included. Over 50 years in camping. Um, kalau pertanyaan ini agak sedikit berbeda dengan biasanya ya. Ada tulisannya. What is the focus of the advertisement? Focus, kata yang bisa kita pastikan itu cukup mudah untuk dimengerti. The experience of the management. Maksudnya pengalamannya. Karena apa? Ini gede banget mereka bikin. Over 50 years in camping. Sudah 50 tahun menjalankan bisnis ini ya. Locations-nya, iya, ada di situ. The fun activity-nya nggak dijelasin banget-banget. And the distance from the nearest city. Kecil sih ada di bawah, tapi bukan itu yang jadi fokusnya. Oke, okay. number nine. The advertisements might be interesting for those who are adventurous. Namanya juga camping, kelihatan itu dong, kegiatan di luar dong. Yang adventure, pengalaman itu. My trip, my adventure. Kalau yang like uh, indoor, nggak mungkin. 
hanya karena di situ ada gambar football nggak berarti football juga dan yang pasti bukan fisherman. Oke, okay, number 10. What information can the readers find by reading the text? The readers can find the locations and the transportations. Cukup itu aja sih sebenarnya. Location ya dan transportasinya. Belum dijelasin yang lainnya. Cukup itu sih. And now we have a description text. Let me read it for you. Every kid is unique. I believe in that jargon because I have worked with kids for years and I see how different they are from each others. One of the kids that I observe is Punto. He is one of my favorite pupils. As a matter of fact, he is a smart and nice kid. Punto is a kind of person who will not let others suffer. He always does his best to assist his friends do their assignment even when he has to fail to submit his own assignment. That's why all of his classmates like him. However, there are moments when his friends mock him for some reasons. The boys in my class often call him the walking bones. The reason is because he is so skinny. His weight doesn't match his height. To my surprise, Punto doesn't take it seriously. He just keeps smiling. Okay. Now let's see questions number 11. From the paragraph 2, we can conclude that Punto is, I would answer helpful, because here, Punto is a kind of person who will not let others suffer. He always does his best. Mm, lebih kepada... Dia adalah tipe orang yang tidak mau orang lain menderita Selalu melakukan yang terbaik untuk assist Asistensi, berarti kan menolong teman-teman ya Oke okay? Cruel artinya kejam, rude, kasar, shy, malu Tidak ada dalam keterangan di sana ya And then number 12 What is the closest meaning of mock in the beginning of paragraph 3? Ada M-O-C-K, mock Kita cek dulu Push artinya solve Force, ram, mendorong. Love, dear honey darling, menyenangi atau mencintai. Kick, jolt, flex, boost, menendang. Yang paling dekat adalah choker. Clown, harass, meledek, mock itu artinya meledek. Yaitu kita pakai kata tease. And then number 13, his weight doesn't match his height. What does this sentence imply? Uh, menunjukkan lebih kepada itu ya. This one. Punto is thin. Look at this. The walking bones. Tulang yang berjalan. Hmm, not a pretty good one. Okay. Kalau overweight, bukan. Short, bukan. Dia tall di situ. And then, ya, yeah, dia juga tinggi. Tapi, berat badannya tidak sesuai dengan tinggi badannya. Maksudnya itu. Dan di situ juga ada kata-kata, he is so skinny. Di sebelah walking bones, ya. Skinny sama thin itu sama artinya kurus. Number 14. By reading the text, we can conclude that the writer is a... The writer is a teacher, of course. Here. One of my favorite pupils. Pupils itu artinya students. Sama ya. And now we have procedure text. You're going to make Brazilian fried bananas. Pisang goreng dari Brazil. <laughs> this traditional breakfast in Northeast Brazil is easy to make. You just have to prepare three bananas, half cup white sugar, one quarter teaspoons ground cinnamon, three teaspoons butter. Steps. Cut each banana into three pieces, heat a frying pan over medium-low heat and melt the butter. Then, Put in and cook the banana slice until golden brown. Mix the cinnamon and sugar in a bowl. Take the banana out and drain them on a plate covered with paper towel. You may sprinkle or coat the banana slice with cinnamon sugar. Okay, let's see number 15. When do we put the banana slices into the frying pans? It's on step, step 2, yeah? We put the banana slices into the frying pan when it heats and the butter melts. Add a D. Sini. 
kalau panci eh, no not panci wajan kalau wajannya sudah panas dan butternya sudah leleh when the butter melts okay 16 why do we put the fried banana on a plate covered with paper towel orang Indonesia agak jarang sih pakai paper towel biasanya kita pakai strain uh, apa namanya saringan minyak gitu ya karena sebenarnya Paper towel itu t- uh, tisu yang tisu yang memang teksturnya lebih tebal. Tugasnya untuk menyerap uh, minyak yang tersisa, yaitu to absorb the remaining oil dan ada di sini. Take the banana out and drain them on a plate covered with paper towel. Kata kuncinya sama ya teman-teman, paper towel. Kalau yang pertama, to mix the banana with cinnamon sugar, bukan di situ. Kalau dicampur pasti di, di, di bowl, di mangkok ya. To keep the bananas warm, untuk menghangatkan bananannya, hmm, blanket mungkin itu maksudnya. Warm itu kan un- pakai selimut gitu ya maksudnya, bukan itu ya. To let the bananas cool, untuk mendinginkan, bukan sih, to set it aja. Oke, okay. we have number 17, coat at step 6, and it closes meaning with cover. Karena cover itu... Kayak jacket, shell, hide, membungkus di coating tuh maksudnya di, di kan ada di number six di apa namanya ditaburi di sini sih maksudnya nih ada di situ um, tapi lucunya adalah ada pilihannya sprinkle juga gitu kan sebenarnya sprinkle itu scattered dah sama spray lebih kepada ditaburkan um, kalau seal uh, itu maksudnya eh kalau fill itu adalah seal pack and stuff maksudnya mengisi dan kalau dip itu maksudnya swim, drop and plunge di di celupan. Kalau misalnya ini pakai pakai tepung yang basah gitu loh. 18. What are the four ma- main ingredients used in the recipe? Oh, that's so easy. The four main ingredients are banana, white sugar, cinnamon and butter. Tinggal tulis ulang. And now we have a narrative text. Okay, let me read it. A long time ago, an old lion sat in his cave. He was very hungry. A goat and a deer came by. Good morning, Mr. Goat and Mr. Deer. You are welcome to my cave and have a game with me, the lion said. They went in, but they didn't come out. A fox came by. Good morning, Mr. Fox. Why don't you come to my cave and have a game with me? Said the lion. I have watched you sit there for a long time. I have heard you talk to the deer and the goat. I have seen them go in, but never come out. No, thank you, said the fox. Let's see. Number 20. I have seen them go in, but never come out on the last paragraph. The sentence implies that the fox knew that all animals entering the cave did not survive. Lebih kepada ini nih, never come out, nggak pernah keluar lagi. Asumsinya adalah, well, lion, lalu ada goat dan ada deer, kemungkinan besar, predator dan mangsanya. Jadi fox sudah tahu itu, karena mereka nggak keluar lagi setelah masuk ke Uh, sarangnya si lion the cave kalau we're lucky beruntung we're happy inside don't think so did not want to go out bukan tidak mau keluar tetapi tidak bisa keluar alright number 21 by reading the text we can conclude that the fox was clever dia pinter ya teman-teman cause I have watched karena watch, karena mengamati, kita bisa tahu bahwa foxnya ini pinter. Karena dia mengamati situasinya. Kemudian unfriendly itu artinya um, tidak bersahabat, afraid, takut, full adalah bodoh. Number 22, through the story the writers want to teach the reader about being aware in any situations. Tahu situasinya, bagaimana waspadanya dan mengerti harus apa karena sudah lihat situasinya. Harus bisa berpikir dengan resikonya. Maksudnya gitu. Karena si rubah, si fox udah lihat. Kok setiap binatang yang masuk ke situ nggak keluar lagi? Kenapa ya? Gitu kan. Kemudian kalau yang lainnya adalah. 
Kalau yang being friendly to anyone um, Ramahlah terhadap semua orang Ya itu betul Respecting other Menghormati orang lain Betul Enjoying your life Menikmati hidup Betul Tapi bukan ini situasinya Alright Okay, we have a new thing again. Uh, it's label for this time. You have a, uh, an air freshener, Segar Harum. The beautiful and unique design of Segar Harum match and complements the decorations of many kinds of room. Using battery, this portable unit spread fragrance everywhere. Changing the feels becomes very easy with the easy open latch design. Ways to spray. Timer. There are three time settings provided. Select one of them to too slow. Often the unit splashed. Burst button. Press the button to burst the fragrance any time you want. Warning. Caution for safety. Contains under pressure. This product contains propellants. Store it in a cold place, in a cool place, and avoid heat. Do not incinerate or puncture container. Number twenty-seven. You have something very special in there. Not which of the following things is not included in the tax? Berarti cari yang gak ada. So let's check this out. The benefit of using the product? Yes, there is. Ada keuntungannya ya. The instructions of using the product, of course, are the ways to spray. Instruksi dong, ways, cara dan instruksi. The warning for how to handle the products. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have it. Warning, do not, that's a warning. Okay. And then, berarti yang gak ada adalah the suggested expiry date. Gak ada tanggal expirednya ya. Kada luar sanya. Number 28. Welcome to passive voice, guys. The product must not be heated because it's contain propellant. Kata kuncinya cuma di heated. Di situ ada verb 3. Dan yang must nggak bisa. Karena abis must harusnya verb 1. Terus kalau yang kedua must be. Harus dipanaskan. Padahal sebenarnya kan jangan maksudnya gitu. Jadinya harusnya must not be. Di situ ya. Have to be statusnya sama dengan must be. Tapi kan kita harus cari yang negatif. Karena ini nggak boleh dipanasin. Ada di situ. Avoid heat. Hindari panas. 29. Why are we suggested to always keep the product in a cool place? Kenapa harus di tempat yang dingin? To make it stay longer. Karena pengharum ruangan kan sifatnya menguap. Ya teman-teman, teman-teman tahu itu kan. Jadi harus di tempat yang dingin supaya awet gitu maksudnya. Kalau to keep it safe, hanya supaya aman, mungkin harusnya produk yang terkait seperti benda tajam itu baru bisa. Kalau to keep it fresh, terkait dengan makanan biasanya. To make it cooler, hmm, apa ya? Hmm, AC, itu bukan kan? Kita kan gak lagi ngomongin AC. Oke, okay. number 30, what is portable closet's meaning? Handy, karena itu artinya accessible, convenient, manageable. Mudah digunakan. Maksudnya itu teman-teman, portable. Portable, portable, bisa dipindahin gitu kan maksudnya. Kalau bright, itu dalam hal ini bisa, berjati, bisa jadi happy, vivid, light. Maksudnya terang terkait dengan warna. Nah, jangan lupa juga bahwa light itu juga bisa berarti ringan, easy, weightless, simple. Kemudian kalau cute, itu artinya charming, adorable, sweet. Manis, tapi kan produk ini bukan itu maksudnya. Produk ini tuh handy, artinya portable, bisa dipindah kemana aja gitu maksudnya kan. Dan cukup sering dilihat sehari-hari ya teman-teman. What do we have here? Another announcement? Let's see. Permata Hati Junior High School Green Trip. This is to inform all students that our school is organizing a green trip to create awareness among the students and the general public about the need to conserve our forests and wildlife as a part of the World Wildlife Day celebrations on 3rd March. 
all students are required to participate and make a difference to the world. For more information, please contact the undersigned. Student Coordinator Dimas Angara. Okay. Number 31. What did the school issue the tax? Issue niya apa? To ask the students to take part in the program. Karena ada kata kunci di sini. Participate. All the students are required to participate. Berpartisipasi. To take part. Mengambil bagian. Okay. Kalau yang pertama hanya mendeskripsikan. Nggak, nggak dideskripsikan di situ green tape-nya ngapain. To celebrate the World Wildlife Day, betul ada, hanya bagian dari selebrasinya aja. Terus, to tell about how to conserve nature, um, belum sih, cuman baru dikasih tahu ini adalah sebuah awareness. Ada kata awareness di situ. Nanti ada penjelasannya lagi tentang awareness. Kita lihat yang ini. What is the closest meaning of conserve? Konservasi, teman-teman pasti tahu itu, adalah protect. Menjaga, melindungi, defend, guard, shelter tempatnya, tempat perlindungannya. Kalau untuk um, apa namanya hewannya atau uh, atau tanaman-tanamannya. Ya. Kalau untuk clear itu artinya pure, obvious, evidence, jelas. Kalau untuk create maksudnya adalah make, produce, build, membangun atau membuat dan display artinya show. Exhibitions, demonstrations uh, itu adalah menampilkan atau memajang. Ini agak sedikit membingungkan juga sih sebenarnya ini tripnya ngapain gitu. Belum dikasih tahu kemananya. Jadi kayak cuman ajakan bahwa kita akan pergi ke suatu tempat yang terkait dengan alam. Lebih kepada itu. Makanya nomor 33. The program is intended to make the students aware about the nature. Lebih kepada itu aja sih. Hanya untuk supaya aware aja bahwa kita... Uh, harus tahu tentang alam kita lebih kepada itu. Kalau yang relax after the exam, gak ada keterangan. Ready for globalizations, bukan ngomongin teknologi ataupun situasi sosial. Terus kalau yang familiar with the green movement, hmm, bisa dibilang belum dibikin familiar karena di, di pengumumannya itu gak ada gak ada sebuah informasi sebagai murid harus apa gitu. Kayak cuma untuk berpartisipasi aja. Jadi, green movement-nya juga belum dijelaskan maksudnya adalah apa. Gitu, teman-teman. And now we have a poem. The knowledge you give. Eh, this is not a poem. It's more like wish card. A gratitude card. Maybe. Let's read it first. The knowledge you give. The way you teach. The love you shower. The care you take. Make you. The world's best teachers. Happy Teacher's Day. It's a wish, ya, teman-teman. Kartu ucapan gitu ya. So, what is the intentions of sending the text? To express gratitude and to wish all the best. Karena sebuah ucapan um, ngasih apa namanya? Ngasih penghargaan. Gratitude. Kalau yang pertama, to congratulate someone on being a new teacher. Gak ada kata congratulations. Kalau to share happiness and knowledge. No, nope, not that one. And to tell how to be a good teacher, not you got. And then 35, what makes the receiver the best teacher in the world? Kenapa penerima kartu ini jadi guru yang terbaik di dunia? Karena she is both loving and intelligent. Karena ada kata ini, knowledge, pengetahuan, love and care. Berarti kan maksudnya loving. Kalau yang keduanya, lovely and always happy. Nggak ada di situ. And then smells good every day. Hmm, berarti... Bu gurunya, minyak wanginya cocok ya. And then she likes to share. Bukan itu ya, tapi dia loving and intelligent. Penyayang dan juga pintar. And we have another descriptive tags. Butterflies. Butterflies are insects with large beautiful wings. Similarly, butterflies have three parts, three body parts which are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They also have six legs and a pair of wings, which are attached to the thorax. A pair of antenna is attached on its head. They also have compound eyes and exoskeleton. Butterflies live in a four-stage life cycle. The adult butterflies lay eggs on the food plant. Later, the eggs hatch and caterpillars appear. They will grow as they eat the plants. When they are 
fully develop the caterpillars pupate in a chrysalis. The pupa split after the metamorphosis is complete. The adult insect climbs out and after its wings have expanded and dried, it flies off. In a year, some butterflies in the tropics can have several generations or pass more than one life cycle. Meanwhile, Others only have a single generation in a year. In some cold locations, butterfly may take several, several years to pass through their whole life cycle. Termasuk pengetahuan yang sering banget kita dengar ya kak? Kupu-kupu, siklus hidupnya, um, ada telur, ada pupa, ada chrysalis, ke, 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 hmm, kepompongnya. Okay? <laughs> Teman-teman pasti tahu itu. Now let's see number 36. What does paragraph 1 tell us about? Directly paragraph 1 of course physical char characteristics of butterfly karena ngomonginnya body parts yang lainnya enggak ada. Okay, 37. What happened to the chrysalis when the metamorphosis is complete? It breaks open. Apa itu maksudnya? Kalau metafor metamorfosisnya sempurna Si kepompongnya, apa yang terjadi dengan kepompongnya? Chrysalis adalah kepompong. Jadi, chrysalis sama pupa itu sebenarnya sama. Split, mereka akan membelah itu maksudnya. Makanya terbuka itu. Maksudnya di situ. Jadi, jangan kecelai sama it dries itself ya. Yang mengering adalah sayapnya si kupu-kupu, bukan, bukan kepompongnya. Alright, 38. If the writer wants to add more information about the lifespans of butterfly, he might put in paragraph. The writer might put it after the last paragraph. Jadi ditaruhnya di paragraf keberapa kalau mau ceritain lagi tentang siklus hidupnya si kupu-kupu. Karena di sini masih masih konsisten sama life cycle, kayaknya harusnya ditaruh di setelah paragraf ini ya. 39. The text might be useful for those who Oh, sorry. Let's find it tadi ya. A concerns about nature. Yang suka sama alam ya. Bukan yang punya kebun bunga. Bukan yang suka traveling. Atau bukan juga yang kerja di kebun binatang. Oke. Okay. Exoskeleton is the external skeleton that tulang yang luar itu gunanya untuk support and protects an animal's body. Jadi, Ayo, kalian belajar ini di exoskeleton di sekolah ya, di pelajaran biologi mungkin. Kalau protrudes on the top, mun, tulangnya muncul di atas, nggak begitu maksudnya. Kalau insert, uh, ada di dalamnya. Lies inside, uh, apa namanya ya. Lies itu maksudnya berada di dalamnya. Tapi bukan itu, exoskeleton di sini kan, tulang yang di luarnya itu tugasnya untuk support sama protek. And that will be the end of my explanations for your task today. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or you want to make corrections for me, you know where to contact me. You can WhatsApp me or you can send me your comments or emails, the one that you know. Thank you very much. I'll see you when I see you. Be good, stay safe, and God bless.